Uh, I was one of the top session players in London. Right. Me and my partner, Richard Hudson, the drummer. Right. I couldn't read music, so I used to turn up and speak to the piano player. How does this go? But um, so by the time I'd been through Elmer Gantry, which was a real sort of pre-punk, right. uh, that, that sound I had a John Entwistle okay. sound. And I took my... Also, it wasn't just about what the bass sound, it was about image as well. Mm. And I, there was a guy in The Move, there was a band called The Move, yeah, that yeah. I sort of nicked his image with the hair and the glasses. <laughs> and and they, they, it was the, you had to stand with, the bass had to be low, right. which was harder to play. Yes, okay. I know. And you, you had that sort of, dun, 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 and that's how I played. And so with, with the John Entwistle sound, with the rotor sound mm -hmm. and the Fender precision bass, I had that sound down to a pattern. And I continued that into the straws, although I did, um, um, because it was like prog rock, right. I, I wasn't standing there hammering the bass away. So, mm. so in answer to your question, with um, just a collection of Antiques and Curios, which was that live album mm. at the Queen Elizabeth Hall, right. um, I was a, a, able to, because of my experience over the, the last sort of uh, you know, seven or eight years, I was able to hone that into what Dave Cousins was writing mm -hmm. in the softer sort of, you know, uh, stuff that we were doing. Yeah. Um, but still, I, I still was able to get, if you listen to those albums, and I don't know whether it was, I don't want to blow my own horn, but uh, <laughs> blow it. The, uh, the, the engineers, but mm -hmm. all those, were, the basses, my bass is always to the fore, mm -hmm. like Paul McCartney's out, as I like to hear, you know, <laughs> loud, you know. And so we had Antiques, Grave New World, uh, Bursting the Seams from the Witchwood, whatever bass I did. I was always trying to, um, not so much my own songs, because I didn't write that many songs within right. that thing, but Dave Cousins' songs, I would always get the, you'd be playing low for the, the basic, um, whatever the bass was doing. I, and then I'd pick up on a, on a note he was playing mm -hmm. in the vocal then, and maybe follow that up, just so the bass would stick out a bit right, within a that, yeah. yeah. Just like Paul McCartney did in, dum, <laughs> dum, 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 in, in between the lines. And that was, a, that was a big influence to me. 